Hey guys, let's get more news about Dallas, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Cowboys urged to trade for former top 10 pick with 245 tackles to fix glaring weakness. The Dallas Cowboys fielded one of the most porous run defenses in the NFL during the 2023 season, and despite largely sitting out free agency, could be poised to add the ideal player to fix those woes. After allowing 112.3 rushing yards per game during the 2023 campaign, but likely needing to allocate draft capital to replacing Tyron Smith or upgrading the receiving core around Dak Prescott, the Cowboys may need to turn to the trade market to bolster the defensive line. Fortunately for Dallas, the Carolina Panthers seem to be having a bit of a fire sale after trading dynamic pass rusher Brian Burns to the New York Giants. According to the 33rd team, the Cowboys are an ideal fit for Panthers' defensive tackle and the number 7 overall pick in the 2020 NFL draft, Derek Brown. The Dallas Cowboys haven't made many moves in free agency, Dan Pitsuda writes, listing the Cowboys as an ideal destination for Brown. But could use some run defense help, even after using a first-round pick on Motsy Smith last season. With new deals coming for Dak Prescott, C.D. Lamb and Micah Parsons, the Cowboys might not be eager to bring another expensive second contract. However, signing Brown to an extension early could save money long term. Dallas ranked 29th in success rate against the run in 2023. Brown is coming off the most dominant season of his career. Making the Pro Bowl for the first time, Brown finished the 2023 campaign with a career-high 103 tackles, two sacks, 16 tackles for loss, and one interception. It's difficult to imagine Brown not being an immediate upgrade over Chauncey Galston and the caliber of player capable of freeing up pass rush opportunities for a player like Micah Parsons because of the double teams he commands along the interior. As ESPN points out, Brown was double-teamed on 58% of his snaps last season while posting the league's 20th best pass rush win rate among defensive tackles, at 11%. While Brown still has work to do, refining his game as an interior pass rush presence, he's downright dominant against the run, finishing last season as pro football focus number 4 ranked defensive tackle, overall, and second-ranked run-stopping interior defender in the league. The Cowboys' salary cap woes this offseason have been well documented. As of March 26, the Cowboys only have approximately $4.9 million in cap space for the 2024 season. However, that figure doesn't factor in any additional cap space that Jerry Jones and the Cowboys could create by restructuring Dak Prescott's contract to lower his cap number. Meanwhile, Dallas has plenty of spending flexibility in coming years, should the Cowboys trade for Brown and immediately rework his contract to push any significant guarantees or higher salaries into future years. The Cowboys currently have $83.1 million in cap space in 2025 and $283 million in 2026 and $545.8 million in 2027. Those figures in future years don't include any extensions for Prescott, Parsons, or Lamb, but represent plenty of cap space to fit a new deal for Brown, should the Cowboys pull off a trade for him this offseason. Insider makes a prediction about Dak Prescott's market. Even though the Dallas Cowboys flamed out early in the NFL playoffs this year by losing to the upstart Green Bay Packers in the first round at AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, longtime team owner Jerry Jones remains committed to star quarterback Dak Prescott, who has shown time and time again that he can't get it done in the postseason. Regardless of Prescott's shortcomings when the lights are the brightest in the playoffs, Jones continues to be loyal to his starting quarterback and wants to give him another massive contract extension to keep him in Dallas on a long-term basis. However, despite making it clear to the public and Cowboys fans that he intends to give Prescott a contract extension, Jones hasn't gotten the veteran quarterback to put pen to paper yet, which could prove costly for Dallas. According to ESPN's Adam Schefter, who recently made an appearance on The Pat McAfee Show, the Cowboys should have signed Prescott before NFL free agency to save cap space, 
and if they let him become a free agent after next season, there will be no shortage of suitors for his services. It seems as though the Cowboys may have dropped the ball with Prescott, as the veteran quarterback has all the leverage and control moving forward, which could have disastrous results in the near future. That said, the pressure will be on going into the 2024 NFL regular season for the Cowboys to be a legitimate Super Bowl title contender and finally have some success in the postseason. Jerry Jones gives insane Ezekiel Elliott contract take. Jerry Jones makes an interesting comment regarding Ezekiel Elliott's contract from a few years ago. Jerry Jones is the main face of the Dallas Cowboys organization and has been a mainstay since he bought the team in 1989. Jones serves as the owner, president, and GM. One of the fan-favorite players in Dallas history is R.B. Ezekiel Elliott. The former OSU product was one of the best players in his position for years, which led to him earning a six-year, $90 million extension in 2019. Jones spoke with reporters at the owners' meetings in Orlando and spoke about Elliott's deal. The 81-year-old states he has no regrets and believes he's learned from it. What I can do for our fans is I can learn from what we did with Zeke. I can learn. I can look back and make that comparison. And I'm more likely to learn from that than some new face. I really am. I believe that, as long as I do my homework and got my energy. Cowboys GM Jerry Jones At that point when Elliott got the deal, he was the highest-paid RB in NFL history, getting $15 million a year which has since been broken by San Francisco's Christian McCaffrey. Shortly after inking that mega-extension, Elliott's production began to decline. He seemed to have lost the burst he had earlier in his career, finishing with fewer than 1,000 rushing yards in two of his last three years in Dallas. Elliott was released following the 2022 season and the Cowboys handed over the reins to Tony Pollard. They placed the franchise tag on Pollard in 2023 but decided to let him walk in free agency this year. I guess Jones did in fact learn his lesson and didn't want to dish out money to Pollard after things were left with Elliott. Despite the lack of moves in free agency, Dallas has one of the best rosters in the NFL. According to FanDuel Sportsbook, the Cowboys have the fifth highest odds, plus 1,300, to win the Super Bowl. If you like these odds, head over to FanDuel Sportsbook and take advantage of your sign up bonus. And you, fan, what do you think of the situation of Ezekiel Elliott? Leave your opinion in the comments.